Hey, once again, students. Uh, I've been looking around for something to show you two different tools. One of them is going to be the um, the dropper tool. One of them is going to be the paintbrush tool. And I've been looking all around for these tutorials, and I've just realized in the time it takes me to look for more tutorials, I could just show you these two tools myself because they're both really easy. So what I would like you all to do is open up GIMP like I have open here. And um, you're going to see your usual GIMP windows and menus and those kinds of things. Once you get them open, I'd like you to go to File, New, and it doesn't really matter what size you make this for now, but just click OK. And uh, get yourself any kind of picture in here. Now the first uh, tool that I'd like to show you is this paintbrush tool right here. And if you click on this, you can um, go in here and you can paint all different, I've got it set to stars right now, so I'm getting all different kinds of stars. And you're going to notice, probably from one of the other tutorials, that as you click around these tools, down here the tool options is going to change depending on what kind of tool you pick. So if you're looking for an option that's not down there, chances are it's either not for that tool or you haven't clicked on the tool that you want to use and you're thinking like, oh, I'm still clicked on this tool, but really you're, you're clicked on something different. Okay. But what I'd like you to do is click here onto the paintbrush tool and then um, you know you can pick different brushes in here if you want to. You're, I'm sorry, you can make different brushes in there if you want to. And you can pick different brushes along here. So if I go to the right hand side, I want something that's a little bit more speckly. I can then do that. I can adjust my sizes. Okay, so I'm going to make a bigger brush that's more speckled. I can also go in here to the foreground and background colors. Okay, and changing these in here will give me different options for color. So let me make this a blue brush now. You see that it's blue. Okay, and there's things like apply jitter and that kind of. I'll take this high so you can see. It kind of like takes the brush and makes it sort of skip around. So um, there's all different kinds of things you could do. You can dodge. You could darken. Um, there's, I mean, there's really a lot of stuff. Uh, I could go on and on showing this to all of you, but it's probably easier just for you to try it out yourself and see the sorts of things that it does. Also, let's pretend that I used a color, and um, let's say I use this really ugly, ugly green. Uh, I'm going to take this green. I'm going to paint a section over here. And let's pretend I go and I do a bunch of other things, and eventually I say, man, I really want to use that green again, but oh, I can't remember what it was. I didn't go, I didn't look when I went in there, and now I'm on some other color, and oh, I don't know what it is. Okay, what was that color that I used? This green, isn't it? If you use that eyedropper tool, it will let you sample any color that you've used at this point. Okay, so it's not like you got to remember it. it. It will let you go and sample it. So what I'm going to do is go up here, to this, oh, and this is called the color picker, picker tool. In Photoshop, it's called the eyedropper, and other programs, it's sometimes called just the dropper. It is an eyedropper, but they call it the color picker. If you click onto this color pickle, uh, color pick, picker, <laughs> um, you can select this green here, and you'll notice that this box right here changes to match that color. Or let's pretend I want to get this blue. I go in there, and now I've got that kind of blue or that purple. Okay, I can go in here, and I can select that red or that green. So it's an easy way for you to go and be able to uh, figure out what colors you've used and duplicate those colors without having to do things like write down pieces of code or uh, memorize you know, d uh, different um, hexadecimal codes or any of that kind of stuff. So please try out those two tools. They're both pretty neat. And uh, I will be showing you guys some more tools in the future to use for your future projects. Thanks.